अज़बिल्लिमिनशाहीदीम बसमीम व्यूअर्स ऑफ क्रिकेट स्टार चैनल अस्सलाम वालेकुम नाउ यू आर वाचिंग यूट्यूब चैनल क्रिकेट स्टार ऑफ सैयद मोहम्मद हैदर शाह एलियस वसी शाह व्यूअर्स टुडे इस मैच नंबर 985 टी ट्वेंटी मैच एमरस डी ट्वेंटी टूर्नामेंट This is a Emirates Cricket Board match, domestic, first class in Dubai International Cricket Stadium, Dubai Sports City, UAE. Viewers in this match, Syed Hadar Shah went on four down, and mashallah, he played 32 balls and made 39 runs, and total becomes 37,000. 844 runs since 11 2016 mashallah 65 centuries 252 half centuries 7150s please watch his batting and uh, please subscribe this channel thank you very much for watching this uh, video of cricket match number 985 viewers please don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel and also to share your cricket lover friends thank you very much wickets say your hadar shah say your hadar shah going for batting four down fujaira versus ajwan fujaira is batting and now please watch say your hadar alias wasi shah's batting in this match number 985 thank you very much viewers and please do share it to your cricket lovers friends all over the world thank you very much and it will be a great sport towards me putting these efforts for this match shooting and uploading thank you very much a lot of uh, responsibility a lot of jobs to do for this man little man but in form he's got a uh, 27 runs average, 250s already in uh, the Emirates D20s. But today it's a slightly difficult occasion. The slip is on. The ball is that skeleton on, and Wasim was completely beaten with a straighter one. Certainly, very good bowling by Ankur Sangwan. Wasim Shah, another bright prospect. A man of crisis recently. He's going to be right really pitching outside the leg stump, and uh, easy decision for the umpire at the end of nine overs. Jera, fifty-one for the loss of four wickets. Let's see, flick that one to the onside. They'll only take single. That's what Nasir Aziz wants. He wants the left-hander to be on strike to get rid of Mohammad Usman because. I'm sure the captain knows that he's a ticking time rush, but now it's the state tournament, big one, huge tournament, where your performance counts. So I think over here, Usman will try to drag this game, and I think the right man is with him in the centre, the man in form, Basi. So he should talk to the junior and tell him that, hey, buddy, we have to dig, dig in a hat to play the longer. Certainly, the biggest tournament in terms of stature. This T20 Maza Play dot net uh, presents the T20, powered by FanCode, and a very important tournament. Oh, that's a great feeling. It looks even better when number seven nails it. Ten overs gone, fifty-four for four. T22 edition powered by Fan Code. My name is Shoaib. I'm going to take you through for the next 10 overs, and with me, giving us company, is Mudassir Ali. Mudassir, welcome. Good evening, and thanks a lot, Shoaib. Bit of bother for Pujara, losing the top four batters, young Wasi Shah and experience. Mohammad Usman out in the middle. They did a fantastic job. Especially the overs in the power play by Sakib Manshad. 
Yes, and uh, it's good to have people who are associated with these teams in the com box with us to give us insights about the thinking and situation in the dugout for Fujara right now, Mudasir. We have been in this situation for a couple of times, the previous editions, the Fujara. They know how to come out from this kind of situation. They have Usman and Wasi out in the middle. Not much batting to follow, but still they have that bowling department, which is scored around 120, 130. I believe they can defend this target. But that loss of Abdul Ghaffar is hurting them bad, badly. Left arm fast bowler and lower down spinners. We've got quite a few in the domestic circuit. Ankur Sangwan, Nilanj Keswani, Harry Barwal, Ahmed Shafiq, Rahul Bhatia. Quite a few that are on display. In the mazaplay.net, Emirates C20, powered by Fancode. Six deliveries, six singles in this over. After 11, Fujera a 60 for four. Comes into the attack. First ball on the pads, nicely swept over fine leg. That's a poor delivery to start off. And Vasi will be very happy to get that ball on the pads. Akbar Ali, the umpire, signals four runs. And Vasisha is on the move. A bad delivery ball by Nasir Aziz towards the legs. And good shot played by Haida Vasisha over the fine leg. Finding that odd boundary. The very first delivery of this over. The behavior of the wicket is completely different. The ball is stopping and coming. Need to work hard for your runs tonight. <laughs> Sharply <laughs> coming into Haida Vasisha. Well bowled and nicely played by Vasi. I'm, I think I've missed a few games of Ajman because I don't remember seeing Sagar Kalyan behind the stumps. Rahul Chopra is a wicket keeper. I didn't know Sagar Kalyan can also keep. Six runs in the first four deliveries of this over. Interesting passage of play. This the middle over is very crucial for both the sides. Ajman have the upper hand. They need a few more wickets. Fujara, meanwhile, will need a big partnership between these two. And young Haida Vasisha. That was a good shot, beautiful shot, inside out. Five and uh, played it in the wake in the extra cover region. Good effort in the deep by Padao the Jaz. I think that's a clean save. And by the time he could throw that ball back to the bowler, they've taken three runs. So overall, good running between the wickets. Now, they just has definitely saved a single for his side. 12 overs have been bowled. 70 for 4 is the score. Yeah. Right, so that's the batting card so far. We just wanted to check the batting lineup for Fujera. After this, they've got Hamid Khan who can hit the ball. Junaid can also hit a few. And Maruf is also a very good bat. Maruf Merchant has been included in the side for tonight's game. <laughs> a quick at delivery. And talking about Maruf Merchant, Shoaib Ahmed, he has been included in the side. Has been 
they missed out on Usman Khan. They brought in Mohammad Usman. Both are absolutely talented cricketers. Usman, Mohammad Usman, an experienced campaigner, was part of the UAE team for a long time. Also has a one-day century to his name in a run chase. Who can forget that game? It was my first ever international game, UAE versus Ireland. We'll talk about that. 13 overs, 81 for four is the score. Mudassir. The first century for Usman and the CP is one also scoring a century, but it was a special day for you as well. Early days. Let's sort of see that as a professional like commentator and almost two, three years back. Yes, two years. In fact, uh, they chipped this one and uh, run hard between the wickets. That's good running between Usman and Sayyid Haider Vasisha. Yeah, that was early 2021 in January. And I was uh, part of that commentary team in Abu Dhabi. I remember that day very clearly. And that run chase, it was absolutely special. UAE versus Ireland, Ireland losing that game to UAE. Unfortunately, we couldn't have the full tournament. As uh, Do you remember the scorecard of that match? I think UAE was chasing in that match and they scored that century. Yeah, I think it was 270, 280 runs that were posted by... Ireland in the first innings, if I'm not wrong, and both Usman and Rizwan CP scored hundreds. And both were not out in that innings. That is what I remember. I've got a memory of a fish, Mother said. I don't remember what I ate yesterday or in lunch today. So please don't test my memory. Do you remember that I owe you 100 bucks? <laughs> I, I, but what is good for Fujaira is that they've got a good partnership going on between Wasi and Usman. 14 overs have been bowled. Six more to go. 88 for four is the score. After this, five more overs in this innings left. Not sure the target they want to set for Ajman. A runner ball for Vasi. They need to raise the tempo now. It's the time you have the likes of Hamid Khan and Maruf. Junaid, 9 meters 6, the World Cup, so he can hit some big shots. Yes, I think it was the biggest six in the World Cup. 109 meters from Junaid Siddiqui. He's uh, yet to bat, so that definitely is a big class for Fujairah. That's a wide. And a big wide from Azair. Happy to take singles at the moment. Wasi and Usman. When do you think will they want to accelerate? The best part for Fujaira is that Muhammad Usman is out in the middle. You, as you can see, the spinners are not bowling with any towels. It looks like the ball is nice and dry. And that is why there's some turn and it's got a sticky bounce on the wicket not easy and you're absolutely right Mohammad Usman he's played so much cricket he knows what is a good score for his side batting first and uh, I think he'll assess and play according to that looking at the bowling of Fujairah anything around 140 150 will be a good score for Fujairah to defend if they manage to get there last delivery this over on the back foot not Managing to put in the gap to fit that boundary, just a single to finish over number 15, 95 for four. Let me tell you about this continues yet again. Managing a single so far, the bowlers of Ajman are doing a good job keeping things in control. Just a single. They need a couple of boundaries. Haider Vasisha, runner ball 22. Is a time that he needs to find an odd boundary for his team. 99 for 4. Gotcha. Yes, Nasir Aziz, experienced again, ex UAE cricketer. 
knows his job, knows his role in the side, and a true fighter. I think uh, very few cricketers I've seen in the domestic circuit who are always ready to give a fight. And uh, Emirates T20 Mazaplay.net because it was a 50 under pressure. It's not easy for any batter to come out and perform and score runs, but Usman. It looks as if he's a specialist of uh, performing under pressure. Brilliant, brilliant 50 of 38 deliveries. And that you on a tricky surface, managing those couple of boundaries and couple of maximum. Brilliant half century. Still 23 legal deliveries left in the innings. It's Hazar Vasish on strike. On the back foot, goes towards the mid wicket. Hardly find boundary. Playing straight towards the fielder. Between Vasi and Usman, a very important knock and a very important partnership of 61 of 47 deliveries. Nicely bowled and well played by Haida Vasisha. An excellent piece of fielding by Rahul Chopra. Coming from the deep, covering a couple of yards. One bounce straight into the hands of wicket keeper. Bat on this wicket. And if you dig it in short, if you have those variations, it's very difficult for batters to score runs. This is another good over from Shiraz. Five runs in the five deliveries. One more ball to go in the over. And those three overs were bowled in the power play against Mohammad Wasim, Rohan Mustafa, Jiju Janardhanan. So it shows the way he bowled tonight. Lots of discipline. Bowling on the right channel. Change in the field. Long on comes up for Haida Vasisha. Final leg goes back. Brilliant piece of bowling, back of the land, cutter delivery, A dot delivery brings end of over number 17, 114 for 4 in the previous match against Dubai. Unluckily, they lost the match on the very last delivery that 4 from Ahmad Shafi. Good to see coming back and performing well. Saki Manshad was a part of Fujairah in the previous tournament. And ironical that he is bowling so well against Fujairah. Three wickets for him. Was he on strike? Towards a deep square leg. Comes in Rahul Chopra yet again. A dive and saves a couple of runs. He has been brilliant in the field. Exceptional. One of the best ground fielding. That we've seen today. That ball was running away from Rahul Chopra, and uh, the intent was always there. Never gave up and diving, watching the ball till the end. Everything right, the basics were in place, made sure the ball is inside the ropes. He's like Milka Singh. He loves to run to towards his left, towards his right, in the center of the wicket when he comes for the bat, taking those doubles, singles, always busy. Yeah, that's right. He's a busy cricketer, that's true. Wanted to play it over fine leg. Last moment just checks his shot. Akbar Ali says it's going to be a wide. And Sakib Manchad is not happy. Way outside the off stump. Took his time then. The wide has been called. Five runs in two deliveries. Now they need to take advantage of this over. Anything below 140. The bowlers need to work really hard. Oh, that's uh, way too wide. The ball is moving away from Vasi. And he just lashes at it. That's gone over point for four. And Vasi will move into his 30s with that shot. He's getting some movement in the air, Sakib. 
I don't understand the tactics of Saqib Manshad. It's a longer boundary on the leg side of Wasisha. You're giving him a width on the off stump and advantage for Wasisha and Fujera. They got nine runs in three deliveries. That's much better. Slower this time from Sakip. And the diving Ankur Sangwan will cut that off inside the 30 yard circle. Yes, you're right. With the field placement and the dimensions of the ground, you should be. I can make it back. Goes big towards Long on Vasi. This time Usman wants a single. Another run, in fact, and uh, sent back by Wasi again. So 131 for four. Well, that's it. How much more can Pujara get? So three runs in three deliveries. Full toss, but unable to find the gap. And what an innings it has been by Muhammad Usman. It's had the Wasi on strike. And this time connects, connects well, targeting that mid wicket. Waited and waited for ages. See this maximum from the blade of Haida Vasisha. Shamim AB at his best doing the Tata Thaya. <laughs> well, yes, uh, the dancing shoes are on for Shamim AB and so are for Vasi because that was a clean hit from this man, the youngster Vasi, 39 of 31. Finally, he gets a move on against Wajid. Slower delivery, he goes big, that's one high up in the air. Fine leg fielder coming underneath it and takes a simple catch, Shiraz Ahmed. And that will be the end of the innings for Wasi. He was trying to accelerate, just the right thing to do. With six wickets in hand, you can do that. After hitting a six, went for another one, perishes in the process. Smart piece of bowling, a slower delivery. Well played, young lad, Haider Wasi Shah. Walk back, making 39 of 32 del deliveries, Fujera. On track, 138 for the loss of five wickets. Thank you very much, viewers, for watching the backing of 21 year slat cricketer Sayed Muhammad Hadar Shah, alias Wasisha. Thank you very much. I would like to request you, please share it to your cricket lovers, friends. And also subscribe this channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.